All right, this is Apologia Science. So um, these books are found on apologia.com or Christian book or anywhere you can find them online like that. We, we always buy them at Christian book because they're usually discounted. Um, their idea behind this series is called the Young Explorer series. It's for elementary and middle school. Um, their idea behind it is you're learning, you're really learning science. So instead of learning a million little topics, just the surface level, um, you're actually taking one topic and learning in depth. So you're really understanding it and really learning and that way you can get excited and it's, it's more fun that way. So they break it down. They have a whole bunch. We started in third grade because that's when we kind of found out about it and then we didn't want to we were focused on reading, writing, language, arts, and um, for kindergarten and first and second. So for third, we added in science. And so we've done it for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then high school will do, of course, high school science, biology, and all that. But um, these are great. So it's just the textbook. And then it has the notebooking journal that goes with it. And I highly recommend this. You don't have to use it, but that's part of the fun, and, it's, and it goes together, so it's worth it. The textbook is very nice. Um, it's written in conversational um, tone, so it's easy for the child to understand. And it has bright pictures and everything. And then for the projects, the science projects, here's a list of the items that you need for each lesson. So there's simple things you can either find around the house or just run down the store and get nothing super fancy or anything special that you need to get. So that's the example right there. And then this is the table of contents. So it goes over what is astronomy and then it breaks it down, the sun, and then you go through each planet. And then it tells you everything about them. So it's really fun to learn everything about space. And it goes to space travel, stars and galaxies, all that. So it's, they have bright colors, very easy to read, to understand. You could read them along with your student or when they get older, they can read it on their own and then you discuss afterwards. And each lesson has little um, Questions like this, what do you remember? Talks about what you do in your notebook, and they always have a project or assignment at the end. So this is making the um, the planets <laughs> kind of to scale <laughs> using balloons. Then the sun. So it's very you learn a lot and have very interesting facts. And it's fun for the kids. Very nice. Just show you some things here. <laughs> so I did not like science when I went to school. So I'm so thrilled that we found these. They would have had things like this in school. More in-depth, hands-on, not just learning and memorizing a million facts. But actually getting to know the world and, and getting a taste for it. To love to learn. That's the textbook. And then the journal that goes with it, it has it written right inside the, um, the lesson plans. It tells you how to use it, the different sections, and then it has the lesson plans, ta-da, all done for you. So there's 28 weeks, so the school year is 36 weeks, so you have lots of leeway to play, like if you want to take longer on them or space them out or maybe include some field trips, learning, um, to incorporate what you're learning. So it's two days a week. Simple, simple. We do history Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we do our science on Tuesday and Thursday. Then it tells you what lesson. So you're going to read the textbook and then you begin working on your notebooking journal. And then it tells you what day for everything. So you don't have to make the lesson plans for it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Then you always start out when you read the new lesson. They have a place here for them to put their fascinating facts. So the things that stuck out to them from the lesson that were interesting to them, then they can illustrate or whatever. The awesome thing I love about these notebooking journals is the kid can own it. So it's theirs. It's like their personal thing that they could do artwork or do cre as creative as they want. And then they have the end of the lesson review questions. 
Then we have uh, activities, scripture copy work, and then they have vocabulary crossword at the end of each lesson, and then they have a place so you could put pictures of your projects. Um, we didn't get to take pictures of all of them, but it's there and it's it's a fun thing for them to look back at. Be like, oh, I remember when I did this. So this is the making the planets. And then they have mini books at the and the, all those pages for the mini books are at the back of the notebook and journal. So you don't have anything extra. You just rip the pages out there corresponding to the lesson and cut them out and do it. So those are really fun because it helps get the facts and everything they've learned really in their brain. <laughs> so here's some more. And it just kind of repeats in there. Making a solar eclipse. More mini books. So it's just fun. And then they can do as much or as little as they want, depending on if you want them to enjoy and have fun. Places to make comic strips. More mini books. And I think she, there's more pictures. I'm trying to move fast, it's not working. <laughs> More mini books. Learn all about the moon. And they always have extra things at the end too. Like if you want to check out books or extra projects, book and DVD suggestions. Um, making a volcano. That's a classic one. It's really easy. Super easy to do. I love these kind mini books so you get the gist of the idea here oh making a tornado mini tornado steam because you learn about the atmospheres of the planets Making ice cream. <laughs> so there you go. It is a fun way to learn science. It's hands-on. Um, everything's in one spot. And this is all you need is the journal and the book. And then you can um, have the whole full school year. And you learned a lot about astronomy.